April Fools, it's still winter. Day 50. April 1st. It's just, there's no, there's nothing for me to do. There's no, no fun. I'm not having any fun today. I'm just sitting around the house wishing that it wasn't snowy. Uh, I guess since it's the 50th, 50th video, that's a fairly decent benchmark to kind of do a, um, I guess like a checkup kind of a thing on the videos kind of answer some questions that I frequently get when I talk to people about this project or when they ask me about it. Um, yes, I'm just making a video every single day for through a year. Um, it definitely didn't start. It's already evolved so much. So when I first started it, I just thought I was going to do, um, I had no intention of ever talking to anyone about it. It was just going to be my own personal thing. And uh, it was going to be like, gags, like little comedy bits, little characters, things. Um, and it's, it was, a, you know, I wanted to go like a satirical route about the internet. So making fun of a lot of memes and stuff, which the early videos are, but then it slowly evolved as I jokingly got into some of these daily vloggers on YouTube. Um, it slowly evolved into like me making jokes about doing vlogs, like making a satirical vlog to slowly turning into like an actual vlog. And now I can feel evolving away from being a vlog into something completely different. And I couldn't really tell you exactly what that's gonna be. It definitely is a lot more fun when I'm creating something that's, a, I guess, as entertaining as I can possibly make it in the limited time that I have to put them together. Um, but you know, people are, are being really kind. They're being very nice, even though I know I'm like totally blasting social media every day with these posts. Um, but I guess the way I look at it is like, dude, there's, there's already so much spam on everyone's social media that what does it matter if I just post another thing? So definitely the hardest part of doing the videos is coming up with the content. So like I said, the videos could be anything, but believe it or not to do a video of nothing is a lot harder to put together than when I'm shooting because when I shoot these videos everything that I shoot in my head I have a place uh, it has a purpose of where where it's gonna go in the edit that has been really difficult is like I can't if I'm gonna if I'm gonna commit to doing this for a year these videos can't uh, they can't overtake my life because I'm not gonna make any money doing this so it's you know I have to still be able to work I still have to be able to like have a life outside of this otherwise the project is gonna start to bog down on me so figuring out how to do that um, and also I think a key to the future of this lasting is keeping it fresh so constantly evolving it playing around with the styles playing around with the, the edits and stuff like that so what else oh a lot of people ask about the music it's just free Creative Commons music. Um, Casey Neistat is the, probably the most known for using that kind of music, but there's tons of vloggers, tons of YouTubers. I don't know why so much of it, I think it's referred to as chill hop. I don't know why so much of it is uh, in that style, but if you're looking for just free, no, copy, no strings attached copyright music, it seems to be in the style, but it's sweet music, you know, and it, it works really well to edit footage too. One of the things that I, I have been trying to incorporate more just because I think it'll be cool to look at is doing more of my surroundings. So filming stuff like the weather and making note of the seasons and stuff like that on a day-to-day -day basis. Like uh, in that video where I talk about avoiding, you know, sugar and alcohol and stuff, um, I shot it in front of the old weather vane sign because as I was driving past, they're building that new, I guess it's gonna be like a brewery. They're building that new brewery there. And I was like, oh, that's cool. They haven't taken down the weather vane sign. I was like, what a legendary, I mean, everyone in New Hampshire remembers fucking having to go to weather vane. I hated that place as a kid. Um, but yeah, and I was like, man, when they tear that sign down, so I had to go film it and get it like behind my head. Cause you know, if you're filming stuff every day, you have this unique opportunity to record every day of your life. And um, you know, it's just the, the little cracks and crevices, the stuff you don't expect to want to remember, I think is the stuff that you remember most, you know, thanks. And a big thing, I know it's a pain in the ass and I know it sounds stupid and it, it's, 
It's just one of those YouTube things. But if you guys could subscribe, I recognize that a lot of you are watching these videos through Facebook on the mobile device. So you're not on the, the um, app and it makes you log in and it's a huge pain in the ass. But if you could take like 10 minutes to just log in or do whatever and subscribe, I don't even care, it's not even the views that I want, I just wanna to get to 100 subscriptions because once you get to 100, the YouTube account allows you to do a lot of extra features that would be extremely convenient for me to have access to. So if I could just get 100, that would be superb. Um, even if you have duplicate accounts, if you have a Gmail, that Gmail is used as a YouTube account. So you can actually use multiple Gmail accounts. Uh, to get those subs, so a little, little hack for you there. Once again, thanks everyone who keeps tuning in. You guys are stellar and blown me away, and it makes it a lot more fun when I have people watching. If I was making these and no one was watching or commenting or talking about it, this would be a drag. But it's fun when people are like, you know, commenting. It's, it's not like you have to like the video. You know. right, let me, I can end it like this. The cl this is the classic vlog transaction. So every YouTuber does that now. Or like um, PewDiePie, he does he does the, the face fist or whatever, the bird fist thing. Here we go. You guys can go into my you guys can go into my uh, my armpit or my arm butt.